Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we are going to do operations with decimals. Now, we have a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Let's get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah, you better be. Here we go, right there. The sum of four tenths plus three tenths, Charlie. Let's first do it as fractions. Four tenths plus three tenths is what, Charlie? Seven tenths. Seven tenths, which is 0 0.7. Very nice. Let's use the vertical format with decimals. Now remember, when you add or subtract, you must line up those decimals. So here we go, four plus three is seven. Bring your decimal with a zero for the placeholder, and our answer is seven tenths. Same answer, right? Okay, here's a difference of four tenths and three tenths, Charlie. Let's do the fractions first. Four tenths take away three tenths is what, Charlie? One tenth. Very nice, which is 0 0.1, one tenth. And now, if we do the vertical format, remember, line up the decimals, we subtract, four subtract three is one, bring your decimal down with a zero, and obviously, same answer, one tenth. Let's do the product now, Charlie. Four tenths times three tenths. Let's do the fractions first. Four tenths times three tenths. How do you multiply fractions, Charlie? Straight across the top, straight across the bottom. That's right, so what do we get? 12, very nice there. <laughs> and as a decimal, 12 hundredths is 0 0.12. Very nice, and now let's use the vertical format. Now, when you use the vertical format for multiplication with decimals, you don't have to line up the decimals. Although it looks like we did, right? Okay, now, let's do our multiplication, Charlie. Three times four? Twelve. Twelve, carry the one. Three times zero is zero, plus one is one, right? Now, <clears throat> you're gonna see why I was showing you the fractions, because I'm gonna explain something to you. What you're told to do is you're told to count the decimal places, right? So in the four tenths, you go one decimal place, meaning the denominator is 10. And you come to the three tenths, count one decimal place, which means the denominator is 10. Two decimal places means you're taking 10 times 10, which is 100, so you have 12 hundredths, which is 0 0.12, which is two decimal places, right? There you go. Now, let's do a quotient. Don't get scared. Three tenths divided by four tenths. Let's go to the fractions first. Three tenths divided by four tenths. Charlie, what do you do when you divide with a fraction? Multiply by the reciprocal. That's right. Now, notice here, tenths cancel out. Our answer is three fourths. Therefore, three tenths divided by four tenths is the same as three fourths. Now, I'm gonna show you right here. Watch, I'm gonna make it a little bit larger and notice, three tenths divided by four tenths, if you multiply top and bottom by 10, three tenths times 10 is three, four tenths times 10 is four, so three tenths divided by four tenths is the same as three fourths, right? Now, when you're told to do long division with decimals, there's our divisor, four tenths, and our dividend is three tenths. You're told to count the decimal places on your divisor because you want that to be an integer value. And notice, one decimal place on the divisor means one decimal place on the dividend. Basically, you're multiplying both of them by 10. So obviously, you get four being divided into three. There it is. And so now, we're gonna do our long division. We did this earlier in an earlier presentation, Charlie, so we're gonna move very quickly. Four goes into 30, seven times. Seven times four is 28. Subtract two, bring down another zero. Four goes into 25 times. Five times four is 20, remainder of zero. Therefore, three tenths divided by four tenths is the same as three divided by four, which is 0 0.75, which is 75 one hundredths. Very nice. Okay, we gotta keep going. We got a lot of stuff to do. Here we go, Charlie. Now, when you're adding decimals, basically you line up the decimals and you put some zero as placeholders and then you add, right, each column. Okay, but we're gonna first show this with fractions. Now, again, this is not the ideal way of doing this, but we're gonna show it to you anyway. Here we go, Charlie. 423 thousandths plus 130,500 thousandths. Our LCD is 100 thousandths. So we're gonna multiply the 423 thousandths top and bottom by 100 to get that LCD. So basically, <clears throat> it is 42,300 hundred thousandths plus 130,005 hundred thousandths. And when you add 42,300 plus 130,005, you get 172,305 hundred thousandths. Whoosh. Right? <clears throat> now, to change that to a decimal, remember, earlier 
In a previous video, we showed you count the zeros in the denominator, and that will tell you how many decimal places you need in your answer. And so we take our numerator and move five decimal places to get that 1.72305, which is the correct answer. Now, how do we do this in the vertical format? Well, we'll put 0 0.423, Charlie, over 1.30005. Notice the decimal places are lined up. And here we go. We're going to multiply that 423 thousandths top and bottom by 100, and we get the 42,300 hundred thousandths. So basically, you add those two zeros there, and that's why you multiply top and bottom by 100, because you want to get the LCD. Okay, that's what we're trying to explain. I know it's very tricky, but there it is. I tried to explain it. Okay, now we just add, right, Charlie? 0 and 5 is 5, 0 and 0 is 0, 3 and 0 is 3, 2 and 0 is 2, 4 and 3 is 7, and 0 and 1 is 1. And remember, when you line up the decimal places, you get 1.72305. Okay, let's continue on. Here's a difference. 0 0.75 subtract 1.382. You should know the answer is negative. So here, we can't use our vertical format because it doesn't work when you get a negative answer. So what we have to do is a kung fu move. We're going to take 1.382 and subtract 0 0.75 and we'll put a zero as a placeholder. Two subtract zero is two. Eight subtract five is three. Three subtract seven, we need to borrow, so that becomes 13 subtract seven, which is six. And zero subtract zero is zero, 0 0.632. Therefore, <clears throat> 0 0.75 subtract 1.382 is the opposite of 1.382 subtract 0 0.75, which we did in the vertical format, and so our answer is a negative 0 0.632, a negative 632 thousandths. Whew. There's our answer there. Okay, child, we've got a couple more problems. Let's go. Here's a multiplication. Now, notice here, we're going to use a vertical format. We don't have to line up the decimals, but what you're told to do is remember, count those decimal places. So we're going to do that first. Notice we have three decimal places on the top, and so that's basically 3004, and two decimal places in the bottom, which is 218. Remember, in our final answer, we must have five decimal places. So four times eight is two, 32, carry the three, eight times zero is zero, plus the three is three, eight times zero is zero, eight times three is 24. Now we go to the one, which is in the right tens place right here, and so we put the placeholder, one times four is four, one times zero is zero, zero, three, right? Okay, now we go to the two, which is in the hundreds place, and so we put two placeholders there. Two times four is eight, zero, zero, and the six, and we add everything up here, Charlie. Down each column, we get two, seven, right? Charlie, getting this? Eight, four, five, and a six. Now remember, how many decimal places do we need, Charlie? Five! Five total, so we'll put our final answer at 6.54872. All right, we got one more problem to do. This is a division problem, right? We're taking 29.25 and dividing it by 4.5. Here, we're going to multiply top and bottom by 10 to get 292.5 divided by 45. And so we have to do long division, right? And remember what you're told is you've got to make your divisor an integer value, which means you're going to count one decimal place, and in the dividend, you must also move one decimal place, and so obviously, it's 45 being divided into 292.5. That that's what I was showing you by multiplying top and the bottom by 10. And so now, <clears throat> we have to figure out how many 45s go into 292. Here's a kung fu move. 45 and 45 is 90, plus another two 45s is 180, plus another 245s is 270. 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 270. So that's 645s. Six, 6 times 45 is 270. When you subtract 2, 2, bring down your 5. How many times does 45 go into 225? Well, 45 times 4 is 180 plus another one is 225. So 45 times 5 is 225. You subtract, you get 0. And therefore, 292, I'm sorry, 29.25 divided by 4.5 is equal to 6.5. There's your answer. Whew, that was tough. We'll see you all again soon.